This is an explanation video on how to install Windows in Micromax P295. Now without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the content. Hi, I am Mahan. In today's video, I will be showing you on how to install Windows in the Micromax.P295. In previous videos, I, I showed you on how to install Android in the store. And when we install Android, we were not able to access all the drivers, including touch screen and all the webcams. But the audio drivers were still functional. So in today's video, I will be showing you on how to install Windows. To fix all that, we just have the tab itself. When we install Android, we have to have external keyboard, mouse, we, are, we already need a OTG cable and a USB hub which will make this setup like a desktop. Now we will be installing Windows. In, in today's video, I will show you on how to exactly do that. So let's get started. So to install Windows, we need two USB drives. So if you have Android installed, you need two USB drives, but if you have any other OS like Windows, then you don't need a second USB disk. So this can uh, come from if you having any Linux Linux based operating system, that time you need two USB disks. So the first disk will be having Android and the second disk will be having Windows itself. And I will show you how to get the file that has all the drivers. So if you take a look at my screen. This is giveme-rom.com. So I leave this link in the description. And if you scroll down as you can see Micromax P295. And you can see this is the file for this exact tab. Right here. So this is the firmware file for Windows. And if you have any other other tab, you can just go to givemerom.com. Just go to givemerom.com and scroll down and select various firmware. And you can select the brand of your tab. So mine is Micromax. And you can select the model. Here I have a tab, so we select the tab itself. And here there are a bunch of models of the tab. And you take a look at the back of my tab. It says P295 there. So we will select Macromax P295. And here is the firmware file itself. And if you click download, it will automatically download the file to your local computer. And as you can see, it's 4.23 gigabytes. So it's a large file, but be patient, it will download quickly. Now, as we have this, now we need a USB drive. So it could, it, it will be, it should be around 8 GB. So I have this 8 GB file, 8 GB drive. So another one will be having any other GB but it should be more than 8 GB it could not be less than 8 GB otherwise it will be slow and not complete or the files may not copy to the disk and you may get errors while installing also so as I have an 8 GB disk I should be all fine so when you download this you can be you can extract it yes this is meant to be extracted and there will be another zip file in the file itself so that will be the firmware but now this one will be having a pdf file which in includes the procedure on how to install this so they said if you extract the zip file itself another there will be zip file in this if you extract that you will get a bunch of folders and files and that is the operating system itself you have to copy all those to this to your drive itself and then you have to boot it from your tab and then select the tab itself or the drive from the tab in the bootloader 
if you watch my uh, android video you will be knowing on how to uh, load the bootloader how to select the usb disk for the special for the auto install to complete so yes when you when you automatically select the disk which is the usb drive it will automatically install windows so you need to select the options and then when the time is done you can install windows or the setup which is basically uh, normal windows setup that will have touch screen all the drivers right loaded into windows and now for android users if you have android in these tabs it might be hard so sometimes what could happen which actually what happened to me is when i booted the disk with this drive which has the windows i was not able to load this drive it automatically booted right into android so to fix this i need a second drive which has android installed and when we have the when we have android installed it will load the disk selection and you can actually format and remove other disks so what i did is actually removed the disk from the partition so i deleted the partition itself means it doesn't have any android so that time it will have a fresh hard disk just like brand new and next i selected the bootable usb and it was right loading to windows it took me around 2.5 hours to and a half hours to complete this installation it varies from your bootable disk this is a 64 gb and this is a 8 gb so it could vary the speed of the disk if you have a 2.0 drive or if you want a 3.0 drive and the copying of the files does take a long time it took me around 10 minutes to copy all the files to the pen drive and when you have it running it will basically have touch screen and everything it will also have the webcams as you can see there is a webcam here and a front facing webcam so those webcams will also work and in android i wasn't able to get the usb camera working though i did buy a usb webcam and i connected it with the usb uh, hub and it detected it once but after some time it just uh, didn't detect it uh, any after so but now we don't need any webcam since this is all working with all touch screen so it's basically like a normal tab it's all fixed so and that is how you install android or windows in micromax p295 thank you